iteachgeek.com. <laughs> Ask Brian. That's me. Welcome to IT Geek. I'm your host, Rashad, and I'm here to show you how to configure GPO. Uh, I'm a man of my word, so I made a couple promises in my last tutorials. If you watch the print server tutorial, I, I said I would show you how to map the the shared printer so you won't have to do on each computer in GPO I'll be showing you that and also if you watch my tutorial on file services I told you that I'll show you how to map um, map drive to all users in the OU so right here I'm on my client machine and I'm gonna show you before we start I want to go to start device notice that I don't have the default printers nothing there yet I'm going to go to computer and notice I don't have a map drive. Now all I'm about to do right now is go to my server and show you how to do the GPO and then we're going to come back and see if it works. All right, let's go to our server. All right, we're on our server. First things first, it's a couple VB scripts I'm going to show you how to make real quick so we can um, map the drive in the printer. So first one, we want to do the map one. Map drive, I just called a map. It's a simple text file right now. Um, you look on the helpful tools. I have the this, or you can copy it. Um, you see right here, this is the the letter of the drive you want to map it to, and then you're gonna then you'll put right here, the name of your server or its IP address, and then this is the name of the folder share. I just call it the name of the folder is share. You whatever you had named that folder that you're sharing, please put it there. Okay, you want to go ahead and go to file. Save as. You can put it wherever you want. I'm gonna put it on the desktop for now. Go to all files. At the end of this, put dot VBS. Go ahead and press save. And notice it put a little script right there. Okay, we're gonna close this one. And again, this is under helpful tools, right under the video. Look at helpful tools, and I have both of these scripts right there um all right we're going to go ahead and change this like i said before to the name of your server or its ip address slash the name of your printer not the name of your printer but the name of your share printer then the share name you gave it all right we're gonna do the same thing we do with the map so we can go to file save as just go dot vbs and make sure you change the file type to all because they'll save it as a text file instead of converting to dot VBS all right we did that now let's go ahead and go to start go administrative tools we're gonna go to group policy and management all right when you come in here most likely this would be not expanded so just expand it go to domains all right, now we're gonna go to the OU that our users in. My users in human resources. Wherever you put your user at, you want to go to that OU. All right, we can go ahead and right click. We want to create. Uh, we're gonna call. It, I like to name my policy the same thing that it do, what it does, so it makes it easier when you have a whole bunch of different policies. So right here. I'm just going ahead and go ahead and put map drive and you can even put the share or you can be more specific but right now I'm just going to put map drive all right we want to create another one I want to call it I call just call this one print blue so I know um, you can do it all in one script if you wanted to, but right now I'm just showing you an example. All right. And one more. We're going to say, we're going to call this no. 
All right. You might get this error. Just go ahead and press that. Press OK. All right. We want to right click. We want to go to edit. All right, they have two different ones. You can do computer configuration or user configuration. Uh, I like user better because anywhere the user goes on the network, it'll, it'll map it for them. Or you can do it for a computer, depending on what you want it for. You can map it to whatever computers that are in the OU. So, all right, so let's go ahead and go to policies, Windows settings. Here, go to scripts right here. We want to go ahead and do a log on script. We want to go to add, browse. Um, you can browse for the script, but me personally, I just like to go ahead and put the script in here. Um, if you have a lot of scripts, you want to make it real organized and have a nice directory somewhere where you have all your scripts real nice and organized. But for now, for testing purposes, I just put it in here. Press open. We're going to press OK. Make sure you don't rename this because it will not work. If you want to rename it, just you have to rename it the, the, the file name too. Go ahead and press apply. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and close this one. We're going to go ahead and print blue. Do the same thing. Edit. I'm going to go log on. I'm going to add, browse, and go ahead and drop, drag this in there. Press OK. OK. Apply. All right. Now, for no, we're going to have a little fun with this one. Let's go ahead and policies, administrative templates. Now, this is where you can take away any rights to any users. It's so much stuff in here. You just have to play around with it. But I'm just going to do some, some easy stuff. We're going to mess with the start menu. If you notice, it has so many different things you can take off on here. So I just want to do something simple like remove game links from start menu. Because, you know, people always want to play games. You want to make it, you should stop playing games, even though it's a workaround to it. But just to take it off the start menu, we can go ahead and do it like this. We want to go ahead and enable it. Press OK. And we can turn off anything we want. This list is very long. Very, very, very long. Very long. And let's just take let's just take one more thing off. Let's do some random. We can take off the documents icon on the startup. So let's go ahead and click on that. Enable. Press OK. All right. We're gonna go ahead and close this. And remember, you can pick anything on here you want and set it. You just go through all these. There's so many different things you can do. All right. Go ahead and exit that. Now, the next important thing we need to do, we need to go ahead and right click. We need to enforce them. Enforce. Enforce. Okay, very important. Make sure that if you're going to do a script, you put it in the OU. If you put it up here, it will be inherited by everything in the OU. So if you want all users to do something in all the in all the OUs, you can just put it up here. And they'll hear it all of this from everywhere. So, but right now, I just want the human resources users to, to get these policies. All right. Now, let's go back to our client machine. All right. Just like we left it, I'm back on my client machine. Notice there's no map drive there. And notice still there's no printer. We go to start. Notice the game still there, and notice documents are still there, right? Remember we added those? All right. All we got to do is log off. Let's go and log back in.
All right, we're back in. Let's go to the start menu. Notice games are gone and notice documents are gone. All right, let's go into printers and devices. There goes Big Blue right here. And the last thing we added was the map drive. So let's go to computer. And there goes the map drive. And inside is the text. And it says it works. I put that on the server. And there you have it. Um, you can play around with the policies and stuff like that, but that's the basics. Um, if you have any more info if you have any more questions, I have more tutorials and more in-depth configuration of GPO. I'm your host Rashad. Thanks for watching.